What's up, everyone? This is Shona, and welcome to your girl, Mataki, Sinti Podcast, Part 3.0. Oh my goodness gracious, it's the final episode of Part 3.0. Well, kind of sad, though. See? It's kind of sad, because we only had one episode left. For this season and I know you guys are gonna miss that but don't fret because next month will be the start of 4F I know. I know you guys are so excited for the season I mean for the new season but before that yes before that um uh, I just okay uh, uh, let where do I start oh yes um I just wanna I yeah, just want to say uh, thank you very much for listening, watching, streaming all to all episodes of 4F for the past uh, one year. Wow, can you imagine? More than one year for you guys. And for all the support that you gave to me throughout, uh, not just in part 3.0, but for the entire YKIP. Um, thank you very much for uh, your for for your continued support for this podcast. I know uh, again it's actually a niche platform, but still uh, we will do our best to give you not just only entertainment but also a, uh, some new lessons, some new discoveries that you have to learn. And uh, shout out to all the guests, almost all all get all new guests and. <coughs> Sorry, for our uh, returning guest, uh, guests rather, shout out to uh, Nat and uh, Christian Kailada. <laughs> I hope uh, if you guys are listening right now, I just hope that you are very welcome to our podcast. And um, maybe we can have some chit chat once more again. In the future, maybe in the four, if not just in four, but beyond. And beyond, actually, yeah. So yeah, and of course, um, uh, I I just wanna say uh, thank you very much for the fall, for the likes, for the shares. I even though it's a little bit, uh, it really means a lot to me, and all the views on YouTube. Thank you very much for um, sharing uh, for listening and uh, watching this amazing podcast uh, again um, on behalf of, of the entire YKRP team I just want to say thank you very much for all, all the support <coughs> that you gave me for the past three seasons and um, I'm super duper excited for 4F next month I know you guys are so 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 excited for it and I'm looking for looking forward to see more uh, new topics and and then we're uh, alongside with the with the recurring ones and um, yeah uh, please stick with me until yeah until the end uh, and I'm gonna do it guys uh, so uh, please keep keep <laughs> keep watching keep streaming and uh, keep listening to YKIP so again and for the Ilan pa tayo, ilang YKRP lives pa tayo? Tatlo, no? For f- part 3 point... Uh, no, hindi. Oh, tama ba? Uh, kasi season 2 was... <coughs> sorry. Uh, season 2 is... Ay, oh, na dalawa. Nakadalawa po tayong uh, y- YKRP lives. And probably for 3.0... Ay, part 3.0, no? So, the one from last year in Toy Fair in Kalawakan City. And, um, SummerCon 2023, just this year. So, uh, thank you very much for, uh, um, um, how I call it? Thank you very much for attending, uh, uh, the two YKP lives, uh, throughout the season. And, uh, and speaking of which, I have to, uh, have to, uh, gonna share it to you about our upcoming one and we're are going to we're about to going back to Iloka Ilo <laughs> <laughs> So yeah 
Hello, Candia. So, we are going back once again for uh, Pangasina Pop Convention. So, PopCon. And then you should be, we should distinguish that because, you know, the Pinoy Pop and uh, P Pop and, yeah, uh, how kaya PopCon eh? PopCon, ayan. To this, not just only to, uh, it should, they should be renamed it to PopCon eh. No, ano ba? Makakalito na mga ano dyan, mga P-pop fans out there. So, PopCon, they should be renamed it. I have to, I have to refer it to as PopCon. So, this coming December. And this is actually the first, uh, although, um, <coughs> this is probably the first time that they, this will be the first time that the YKRP Live won't, won't take place during a season, the current one sometime uh, probably be in between uh, part 3.0 and the, the after part 3.0 and before 4F and uh, this is actually the first that is not uh, took place uh, during uh, uh, rather during the CA certain the, the, the current uh, season so yeah this is a, probably the first time that we're gonna do this again and we are going back to uh, the group and city next month this December uh, December 2 because December 3 is well <coughs> I have some important stuff on that day and um, so that's why I just I pick December 2 because number one is my free time and Yay! Auto the free cure! Pakatapos! Alam na! <laughs> Alam na! Alam na! Auto the free cure! Pakatapos! Anyway, so. So, speaking of which, pala. Uh, the sophomore episode part 3.0. Now, after the. <coughs> our year end video, our year end special, will be tackling and talking about. Uh, Otra Preacher. So, that, 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 it's a some sort of tradition. So, we are going back to the Preacher topic. To cure Preacher. Yeah! Get it on the <laughs> Preacher related topics. And February will be. Where are we talking? Take a last on the day. Ah, yung ano. Yung Fighting with Last Impressions on Hero Gato Sky and thoughts about. The first impressions about the new season. Again. <coughs> so, again, I'm... Yeah, guys, guys, guys. Uh, um, and then, March will be... They the sequel to The Power of Janela. So, it's part 2.0. Uh, in a little women's month. So, <coughs> so, probably the reason... Of course, I have the my personal reasons why I went to an, an unceremonious to Matayarus. And then I came back and returned after yung uh, Otaku X Matanaba Festival. So, ayun, uh, bak, bak na ako bumalik dyan. And, you know, so that's the, four, the first four episodes of uh, 4F. And, of course, oh, I for, almost forgot that I'm going to reveal um, the first epi episode of 4F at the end of this episode of the the final episode of part three for now. so again um <coughs> wow it's been more than a year since we started part 3.0 and how and how who who could have that who could have been ended up with doctor who it started with doctor who and ended with doctor who and then uh, i'll um it's november and that means that we're here already in the Doctor of Month once again, and and we are celebrating 60 years of adventures in space and time, and uh, it's wonderful that those 60 years are both not a joke and and a classical bump ride, yeah. So, um, I, yeah, it was this is actually my fifth year. As a <coughs> sorry, as a Hoovian. Yeah, I have to apologize because um I'm I am just recovering from my yeah, sore throat and that, that stupid plan is getting me getting run to get rid of me. But you know, you know me. 
who wants to have a fight with a certain disease? By the way, so let's just get that aside. <coughs> so we are going back. Well, looking back, yes, we got. Then other my was in mga ano jan. <coughs> mga ano man na mga hung hang mga tanga, de ba? Mga tanga sa fandom. Then di naman din di natin mo ma di naman mo ma mawawala yan ng bongga bongga ano ka ba kahit sa fan tama may mga uh, hung hang na fan no <laughs> that um, I always rate the positive over the negatives and uh, we should celebrate that and di naman natin may wasin yan yung ma pero mas marami yung mga ano man yan mga decente alam na natin yun and uh, we all know that it, again it was a bumpy one for me and and I met a lot of new friends because of Doctor Who and so that is why we should do a Doctor Appreciation again a Doctor Appreciation uh, of episode so that is why and uh, you know so I, lo I have a lots of good memories and especially mo yung oh my god yung pasetan sa for ano Jody Ricker actually I never I really never forget that po uh, yung mga fan projects and stuff tapos nag feature pa ako sa Doctor Who magazine oh my god nakakaloka ba, pero nakakabonggan din na uh, dignan nyo di ba I imagine can you imagine that um I'll be featured, featured in um, the biggest and longest existing um, mag, uh, geek mag on, on this planet. Wow! Ano ba? Naka, it's a big honor for me. And I feature pack of in the Dr. website. Re, do, yung, uh, yung website ng Dr. Who. And I was so happy. Happy na naman ako. And then, nung nag-lockdown, just ko, di ko na makalimutan. Tapos, nag, ano pa ako, and then, nag, hu lockdown, who kwar pa ako, with, uh, the long saw, that was, ah, ano ba tayo isa? Ah, uh, I begin this one, that was, mayroon pa isa eh, teka lang ah, Valley Vecherm, ayun, yan, tatlo yun eh, tatlo, tatlo, tatlo yun eh, Tatlong redemptions ni ni, tatlong covers nito eh. So yeah, I'm mean, so happy to be part of that, what well, this wonderful, special, unit. You know, kung bagas sa 48G, I'm I'm so happy to be part of this special unit. You know, <laughs> unit. Pana intended guys. So yun. That was um, <coughs> when Shruti Garden was announced to be the new Doctor. I was so excited po, and I thought that it was the right thing to do that's number one and number two <coughs> and yung that 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 um train that um um that what crush channel started has become expanded and at least now it's already happening in uh, the second rtd era or neo rtd era Parang niyo hese ito ng camera dito ah. I refer it to as, ano, uh, uh, as Neo RTD rather than RTD, RTD2. So, Neo RTD. Eh, kumbaga, it's like, eh, kumbaga, camera ride, ang peg, ang peg, char, char, charot, charot na charot po. So, <coughs> ayun, um, yeah, hindi ko na makalimutin, and, um, when I'm phrasing a lot of, I mean, I recognize it, of course, it's an international franchise. An like, international geek, geek franchise. So it's pretty obvious that you had to recognize a certain version of the Doctor. So I went, I, yeah, it cost me both, thir yeah, 13. I, I cost me, it's Yasmin Khan. I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god. I'm going to say that. Uh, when Dio nakakamali, uh, I think this year. Uh, yeah, the earlier this year. So, ni like ito ni like Mandib Gil. Oh my god. Oh, such a wonderful lad. 
and one of the coolest lives we ever have <coughs> from the universe and you know so hindi ko na makalimutan yun and um yung ah, i almost forgot yung, yung the yearly the yearly uh fandom fan fandom card exchange oh my god some tumblr so uh this is this will be kailan ko nang ano nag start ito <coughs> when do i start this date ah 2021 so 2021 so 2021 22 22 so this will be the third time that i'm going to participate in this wonderful christmas uh activity uh, so yeah so it's pretty exciting and it's so uh, becoming a tradition of sorts now so for me anyway um and we got so here right here we have yung pinakong first meeting yung pinakong nang meet up shortly after my mom's passing and i just get on me i need to wind up unwind go outside kailangan ko mag ano mag therapy i mean natural therapy ito one of those natural therapies i ever besides cosplay and seeing so ayun um so <laughs> di ko na, di ko na makalimutan ito nung bagabago pa ako in the this fat the fandom so i met the the guys behind the Hubian Philippines group yeah shout out to them po thank you very much for the amazing interpretation and ano ba ang dami ko na recognize oh my gosh you recognize me as a doctor na mapakamon ng pako ko siyo no napakamon ng pako si Jody Ritter oh my goodness gracious anyway wala akong magagawa eh Well, I, I'm just mic micking. I'm just not imitating. Um, and I'm not just imitating Joy's voice, but also the mannerisms and stuff. And I do. Wait, look, oh my gosh, I'm socially awkward. <laughs> but I was coming so, so, socially awkward in 30, sorry. Ah. Anyway, so, ayun. Um, um, ang daming nangyari for the past five years, no? In the fandom. And, Ano mo na, di ko na, di ko na lahat, pero, I, I the, the positives are overweight, the positives have been of, outweighed the negatives, so, kaya my doctor appreciation tayo, for, for today's video, and, and for the, the, today's, ano, today's podcast pa, so, um, hindi ko na pwedeng patagay, patagayin nito, kasi, um, this, again, since, this is the, Finale episode part three point oh. <coughs> Let's get a real one last hurrah with our last guest for this season, and I'm sure. Um, I mean, I think that this lad has a lot of stuff related to who than I am, <laughs> but we all gonna share to us, okay? We are gonna share their thoughts his their thoughts about the show and how it changed their life forever so <coughs> yeah sit back relax and i'm pretty sure this guest will be a different a awesome one ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and uh, queer people let's welcome to your karmatikis interactive podcast David! <laughs> Welcome to your Kuramatikis Internet <laughs> Podcast, David. How are you doing? I'm, I'm great. I'm, thank you very much. I'm, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for doing this. Uh, yeah, that's great. That's, a, that's good to hear. So, um... I know you are so excited for the 6th anniversary special season, and of course, uh, Shuri Gatwa. But before any, before those stuff, so I have a question for you. Uh, how do you get into Doctor Who? Oh, that, that's a very hard question. Um, when I was a kid, um, I got burnt, badly burnt, and loads of things, you know, science fiction, fantasy. I always went for it because it calmed me down, it got me relaxed. And um, Doctor Who started in 63, and I was not born then, I was born in 64, so I was born a year after it. 
But um, I just thought I was going to find mainly John Pertwee and Tom Baker are my favourites. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, they still them. Yeah, oh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> That's pretty amazing that you have been a very a lifelong fan for a very long time, and it's a big honor to have you here in the podcast. I'm so happy, you know. So, um, uh, what are what good memories that you have that you received from the show or the franchise in general? Uh, just just meet to some of the stars. I mean, uh, I've met quite a few of them over the years. And sadly, some of them have died, no longer with us. But I, I've always found that a pleasure. Uh, I like, I, the, the last convention I was on was not far from where I live, Holy Lake. And I'm, I booked to go on the next one in June. So, you know, more, more, more. Yeah, so I have a question again. Do you attend Comic Cons? Uh, no, I don't. Not yet. It's, uh, <laughs> you've got a pen. Not even once. Because, uh, 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 uh,
both from the classic and modern. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie yeah, McCrimmon. Yeah. Yeah, I missed Jamie. I missed Jamie for the time. And the last one I went to you, actually, the last one I was messing at, it's seen me a few times and knew me by face, I've been on Facebook. And uh, I, mean, I was waiting in line to uh, sign the to, to sign the food soon for me. And he waved. And I said, hey, can you get out of here? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, he scores, right? And I said, no, I was just on the chocolate. Well, you don't need to impress him, but it was rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I was so I was so glad that he came back from the ta for the tears of from the TARDIS, and his yeah. uh, dynamic with Vicky was man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm quite speechless. <laughs> I was quite speechless about it, and well, and and when when, it, when these two gave regained memory thanks to the TARDIS, and that's the thing that he remembers everything about. The, the second doctor. Oh, yeah, well, him, him, like, even before, him and Pat were friends even before they put a film together. So they did know each other technically, but, you know, that's the reason why they got on, you know, but it, it, it's so good. And they were friends, and, you know, it's, uh, I never met, it was a bit, a bit, a bit sad, really. Uh, I've also met him. Uh, I've met John Pertwee twice. Oh, uh, that's, that's quite, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Why is he like, by the way? I'm the, 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 very curious. Yeah, I'm very curious. Why does he look like, why does he look like, by the way? Who? Uh, John Pertry. John Pertry? No, he's dead now. Uh, yeah, uh, and why is he's, he's he's a prison? I mean, he's, why are you, why were your impressions about Pertry? When he was still alive. Oh, you know, I can't do the Scottish accent, maybe from Billy Connolly. That's what it is. Which isn't very good, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I know, he he was a wonderful uh, person and he, a wonderful actor. Oh, yeah, he was Yeah, he went through twice, and I can find from the videos at times for some Mm -mm. Yeah, um, I'm another one. Another tricky question would be, what is your favorite monster or villain from yeah from the franchise? Well, the new ones, you mean? Oh, I mean the yeah, Red, the Daleks, yeah, the Cybermen, yeah. I don't mind the Daleks. They don't. They don't come to me. Cybermen, guys, they scare me really. Up to now, I mean, the, the, the giant, giants now, it tends to get bigger and bigger, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think the Daleks are, you, you see, you know, the, I call the different pepper bots. <laughs> it really makes me laugh. I call it, they're calling themselves pepper bots because, and with the, <laughs> with a plunger. I was my, my, that was my impression of, on the Daleks ever since I, went in and I first entered the universe and I thought that they were very scary but no, knowing oh, about their yes, origins I, mean, I I thought that they were very scary and, no actually scary <laughs> no matter what design regard and are there no matter what value or design or whatever they they are they are the same and as for the cybermen though um their designs are kind of involved over the over the years and Right, I particularly one thing to my mind was the Earthshark Cybermen because I thought that they're oh my god, they had the hair, the how I call it, the the lines on their hairs as kind of kind of steampunk ish from the time being, and the the reason one with 
uh, with the chip that uh, I thought they were kind of very redesigned for it's kind of mixed between the former and the new series Cybermen and I think it was kind of <laughs> a very steampunk ish for me but the, 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 those designs are no regardless to me are they are very unique to me yeah. As for the Centaurans, of course, the potato heads are... Yeah, yeah. I don't... I don't know what to There's a lot of good of Centaurans that I don't particularly like. I mean, I love the first one, you know, at Lynx. That's great. And then uh, the Time Monitor, got, you know, the Time Warrior got a bit not, not too bad. But the, the, the two doctors, I can't really, I don't really like that, because I think uh, that in many ways that, that sort of disgusts me. No, uh, you know, no offense to the actors, you do it all brutally, but that shock eye character, he just seems out of place in it for some reason. And the sound tiles aren't in it much. They're only in a couple of Vino things, and he, the, you know, the, the, as usual, you know, it's not even the doctor who, uh, who, 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 who Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, not even my best story, but, you know, Patrick's in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the most recent appearance in Flux was, I don't know, wow. I think they had the redesign, they got the original design very correct. And, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 for, yeah. I personally, I really thought they Pretty remind me of the the first one that you were talking that were you were talking about, and I thought that being these guys, mm. those potato heads, are very fans <laughs> of the war. Like uh, the, they're very funny. Uh, sometimes they were funny, and sometimes they were being serious. Yeah, oh no, yeah. Well, that's the thing with a lot of the uh, the aliens. You know, you think of. How, you know, how can a super thing like this sound in the universe? You know, the doctor straight away sees through them and says, oh, yeah, you can't do that. And he had it in every time. But I've always thought that, you know, you know, because you know, you know, supposedly uh, the universe is so vast that you can have a stupid alien to all around everywhere. So, you know, but the doctor, you know, sees through them straight away and he knows what they're going to do. And every time he had them, and that's why I love the series anyway, because you know you, you know what's going to happen anyway. You know he's going to win, although it doesn't not necessarily win. Mm -hmm. But you know he 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 because I, I don't know, whenever I see the statue, the status, statues out there outside, I thought they were going to weep in Asia. I mean, I, I don't need to blink. <laughs> whenever I see statues of angels everywhere, I mean, I said everywhere, not just in the churches. They quickly reminded me of those those creepy guys. But I, I sure blink. <laughs> I mean, but I like the, their first story, which which was blank, and with uh, uh, yeah, that was one stroke of genius that Stephen Moffat did. Yeah, I know. You know, like his his movie. That's the thing I like is it's so you can't you can't pinpoint what what the uh, aliens gonna be like. You may have seen them, but until they appear, until they start, you know, on the server, you can't judge what they're like mm -mm. until they actually appear, until they actually you know manifest themselves and do what they do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's but I, I understand where, you, where you're going from, yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, but it's just scary. I, mean, I just I just can't watch them. Yeah, I was personally edge on my seat on with see with those guys with the episodes with the weepy angels and the one with when the eleventh doctor Amy went to investigate some on something with a uh, river. That's the I can I think that it was series five I be, I know series five I believe and 
The reason why I get in flux was, oh my god, it gave me chills. It got me chills all the time. Especially yeah, when 13, <laughs> especially, was suddenly be turn, turning into a, in a ripping angel. It was, oh my god, like, yeah. how did that, that happen? <laughs> what? My reaction was like, ah. no, seriously, what? <laughs> No way. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. I can't, can't believe this. This is so freaking crazy, but very imaginatively creative. That's why it works so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really works so well too, and I thought that was a very nice concept, and uh, it was well. very creepy. It gave me chills. It got me chills from head to toe, but oh, yeah. it's kind of amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and so, <coughs> uh, what? What? Okay, I have so many questions that I need to think about it, but. How do you feel? What was the, your first regeneration moment? Uh, well, probably it was probably um, John Pertwee into Tom Baker. Because I don't really remember it being so young and being burned. A lot of my life was out. But I've got the early memories over the years. So my first regeneration was definitely. Um, yeah, mm, that's great. It it got it got you emotional. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then for my sister, I mean, we we seen we seen people from Sun but we didn't know who the hell he was. We thought, well, who's this guy coming in? We looked at him and we thought, oh, what was he? We never knew that the we were seeing the full person. But he knew it was a two to four hundred. And I, I, I thought they were big not many, not many. I thought they were a pimple of Australia. It's not when I put that one in the mountain. Mm -hmm. But um, I saw one with the trout. It's not, it's not in there. You'll never see that number. So, um, but uh, like you said, I mean, it was definitely the, me and my sister John were very emotional when John went. I mean, as soon as you thought they died, they said, oh no, you can come back because you didn't So if you didn't move the next, you know, I heard they are, and there the next, of course, it was the 20th anniversary of the next one, when we all came back, sort of. Well, most of them, anyway. So, but, yeah. Mm. Definitely John Pertwee and It's a Tom Baker. Yeah, I think I... Definitely my, um... Well, I quickly remember on the same thing as you when, um, when this is I learned the power of the doctor, the, aka the most recent episode of the show. I got almost teary eyed when, uh, you know, thirteen, my I it was about to regenerate. It was the yeah. per first time that, um, the first time that I seen a regeneration scene in real time, and I thought it was it was both emotional and wonderful. <laughs> it, it, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so unique. It's so I mean, it's kind of the room where they are, but it, you know, it works. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably one of you know, that is just part of the fear and all now. There's great special effects. But I, uh, I, yeah, I even like some words for 70s. I think some of the 70s are excellent effects. I mean, it, you know, it's very, very... Pretty emotional, though, that, you know, you know technology. They think, yeah, and of course, things have changed. No. 
because yeah, because of technology and technology has been evolved over the years and uh, mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah I, I have a so many moments when I for instance I like, dig into the rabbit hole but I I, 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 I always over I always put positive the positive moments over the negative because well sometimes there are negative oh. stuff happen but um but all the, overall it was a again I really enjoyed it so far and um I think I oh, really, I think I really I really enjoyed the ride and I really enjoyed what Doctor has been contributing to the pop culture in general and I oh. think that it would, eh, well, I hope it maybe continue on and going on and on and on. Anyway, so do you, I have a question again? Do you have any doctor merch merchandise? Oh, of course, well, I've got a couple of things. Yeah, I've got a couple of things. I've got a couple of dialogues, which one isn't very good. Um, uh, a little TARDIS with my sister on. There's like a, a light on top that glows. Oh my god, I always <laughs> want to have a TARDIS figure. I, I, I don't care if it's yeah. a different version. I w just want to have a. Well, to grab. <laughs> I just want to grab I one. <laughs> I always wanted yeah. to have that TARDIS uh, figure. Yeah. I, regardless of uh, any version, I don't care. Maybe it's going to hurt them. But seriously, I will. First, it's on my pocket list. Yeah. That, it's on my pocket Mm mm. And. Yeah. Uh, and do you also have uh, figures? Uh, action figures, by the way. Yeah, I've got one of them. And also the figures, actually figures, my goodness gracious, I would want to grab them, oh, no, no. like uh, some sort of oh, no, part God. of my collection, <laughs> and oh, I, no. I used to have a, I used to have a little bit, yeah, sorry, no, no, no. I used to have loads and loads of but I think that some of them, but I needed a minute at a time because I was, well, I, I will tell you that, it's just a bit of a, 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 a podcast, I can't really tell you, but it's a bit delicate because I, I wasn't very well, in, you know, uh, Dr. Who's always had me out, where over the years I haven't been very well for those reasons, which I won't go to, I will tell you, we'll go into, not a podcast, here. it's a bit delicate. <laughs> I will, uh, yeah, um, but I, I saw them to, to, to film this thing, so um, it's, uh, I shouldn't have done it at the time, but it was pressing that I had to do it. Mm -mm. So how does the wilderness rhythm, years, like you've been experiencing the wilderness years of uh, Doctor Who, and how, how did you endure that during those uh, s almost 16 years? Well, I'm just supposed to feel the end. Like, I mean, I'm 59 now, and it's 60. So I know that uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a But it's, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm all powerful. It's probably out of the way, but let me, you know, let me, you know, I can escape like it is in the beginning. And that's why I live it, because I, I, I've ever feel the best. I pull a DVD in and I watch it. Yeah, well, 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 well. That's why I do my polls on the, uh, on, the, on the on Twitter, so I can you know um, choose what to watch. I let them know where I choose them, and they tell me on Monday to watch. It's a way of getting followers as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I think during those times there are have countless lots of um, original story stories in books and stuff. And this, besides the TV movie and the 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 general need uh, special, which is the dimensions in time. Oh, I already watched that uh, sometime a few years ago, and this was uh, I, I was mesmerized. I kind of mesmerized about this thing of that's a 
like a timey wimey stuff here. Uh, I know they have it has flaws. I I think, but this one it really it put me put a smile on my face because there are lots of you know, various doctors and companions were there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, I thought I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I but I only. Right, and I think you know, this thing, this something that they all as. 30 rolls, all, all the stuff are new to me. And that's because I need to slowly and steadily want to where to and how do I get. And I began to listen to Big Finish. And even though, though I am uh -huh. not quite, um, I have the time to listen to all because I have lots of stuff to do. But um, I yeah. thought there, there were, I thought there are so. They're very good. Actually, they are all. They're, they're not just creative, but this these stories, this audio stories, have been expanded even further to the whole wide universe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what is your favorite big fight? Big Finish uh, audio story. Um, I, 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 I can't answer that. I've not heard them all, so I can't. I, I can't answer that. It's like um, I, I just if I, if I haven't heard everything, I can't answer it. If that's why I don't post all the new stuff up to uh, Jody's last stuff on my, my page because I haven't got everything, so I can't watch it if I do. And I wouldn't know what's what because I haven't got it yet because I've we've been all employed. I've not had the money. It's kind of lots of there are there are more than a hundred of them or so. It's it's hard, it's so hard to mm -hmm. how to st where do we do it do it's hard to where it, where it start. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Uh, I have to. Do you have a favorite fe festive special, of course, from uh, the modern series? Um, probably the Tom's first one. Because I thought that was fantastic. I mean, it was his first story, and it was just so brilliant. And the way, uh, especially like when. Uh, um, um, didn't recognize him. And he said, Who's that? Is that the Tom? And actually, we all know that diversity is so very important to Doctor Who, and a lot of people, whether there are straight actors who are play queer characters or actual queer ca actual queer actors who played qu actual queer characters, so how does it point? Oh. To the entire uh, universe, to you. Well, I'm not. I'm not, I mean, I'm getting the point. So I, I, it doesn't matter to me, you know, if people are trans or whatever. If I, 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 I know a lot of trans people with being gay, and um, it's fine. I have nothing against anybody like that. It's not racist. So it doesn't bother me. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I had to look after a, a black lad because his dad was uh, white and his mum was black. And even more than there is now. I mean, it's why it doesn't bother me at all. Mm -mm. So speaking of which, what was your reaction when Shuri Garwa would be the next Doctor? What was your first reaction when you, yeah. when you saw the news? Wait, right. well, I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't heard of it. Because I hadn't seen Sex Education, you know, because they told you I haven't got Netflix or they, I know I know I've been on BBC Three or something, or BBC Four or something. I know I've been on there, but I didn't see it. And I didn't even know, so I didn't know who it was. But all the power to him, you know, you know, if Russell decides to do that, 
because he's in charge now. I mean, it's going to be good because, you know, he, he brought her back initially, and we'll let him do that. Mm. Where am I refreshing my action was? Uh, oh my god, who the hell is, who the heck is shooting God? So I took a deep research about him, and he he was actually born in Waranda. And he went. He moved to to the UK, following after his family. Of course, uh, they. Of course, during that time that uh, he was, when he was he was in the middle of a uh, a civil war back in his home country and mm -hmm. led into uh, Scotland. And good, wow, mm -hmm. uh, it was quite mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. And when I read all the articles related to him. During his youth, I thought it was so sad. And I, I know, as somebody who did not go out into a hostile situation, because uh, I always born, I was born and raised in a peaceful city, and the mm -hmm. the, the the importance of having somebody who was born in a hostile environment, I think that I can empathize on what Shuti has been through, and he. It's not. I think it, it was not a joke for him and his family, because um, he went into yeah racism remarks. He went to he has been enduring bullying and stuff, but he always triumphs in everything. And now he he is now he's one of the most um, notable actors ever. And that's just in the UK, but the whole entire <laughs> planet, I believe. And he, and when after he's announced as a doctor, I, I think my my mind tells me that he gonna, he gonna, he's gonna nailed, he'll be nailed, the role like the old, the actors that came before. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that's good. But that's going to. Yeah, any actor who's played the doctor has not, it's not destroyed the career. I mean, it might have helped Harlow because he wasn't well, but, you know, it, it helped Pat a lot because he did loads of things after Doctor Who, and so did John, well, quite a few things, and, you know, he, uh, he was always on the convention circuit, John, a lot in uh, the time he wasn't the doctor, the time he, uh, he'd been he paid and then not. And Tom Baker has, has, has gone to a, a global King Tom Baker, a lot of things he's been there. I know he's not very well now. He's like he's pushing ninety. He'll be ninety there uh, soon. So you know, all, a long may he, a long may he survive. You know, you know. So you know, but like I said, it hasn't really hurt anybody. They've always had their own careers, and they spun from Doctor Who. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. I mean, th I thought so about too because I Tom Baker was. I we all know that Tom Baker was uh, still the de definitive thing about Doctor Who in general until this until the, today, and I personally thought it was nice to see Tom Baker have been in uh, seeing all that when the doctors came come and go, something like that. Yeah. Well, he did. He did do an audio. He did do an audio for the last anniversary. Um, Paul McGann, Sylvester McCoy, um, and all the surviving doctors were together, but it was an audio, it wasn't filmed, it wasn't an audio, I forgot what it's called now, but it was for the 55th anniversary, I think it was, so it would have been about five years ago, and I, I did actually hear it, it was most of it, it was very good, I didn't hear it all, I heard a lot, quite a lot of it, I heard like a feature version, I think it was about eight episodes, so I heard like a, a, a condensed version of it, it was very good. But, uh, isn't it? You know, well worth a listen, I had a good chance. I don't know where, where you'd be able to get it from, but, uh, but he was, he was there, he seemed to get away. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot about one thing. Do, um, uh, do you collect side screwdrivers? I've got one. I've got one, I've got one with the presents. Some of my good friends of mine uh, a couple of years ago. I think he's either Matt Smith or Peter Capaldi, I'm not sure. I got told he was Peter Capaldi into Matt, Matt Smith's. But, you know, the uh, one, one uh, 
it was used in the before he regenerated, but where it became the uh, 12 Doctors, but then the 12 Doctors got the new one. Oh, well, I, I don't know how it works. I've got one of them. Yeah. So, honestly, my first Sonic that I got was... 13 Sonic and I bought it online and this was the first time that I got the first time that I got was quite expensive <laughs> like uh, two two thousand bucks here so like it's pretty crazy and uh, I got it from a for my Christmas money uh-huh. <laughs> and I also use it for my both my 13 and Yasmin Khan cosplays well, ever since, which is of course, of course, yes, was my first companion, and and she did, um, she was so amazing, and her coming out was probably one of the, um, one of my favorites from her, and uh, I I, th I think it was so pretty emotional to me, because um, it doesn't matter who, who what you are gay or you are lesbian or whatever, or you just showed to flex up what is in your what's inside it's coming from the inside because oh, I, um, I do believe that that queer people have the right to to be loved and deserve to be loved oh yeah oh, tell me uh, you know I've, I've, I've always been always been always known that I was gay but I've never I've never um, had a committed relationship to anybody because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very emotional. You see, so it's hard for me. But because uh, I, I, when I was a kid, I tend to get rejected a lot because I was burnt. Uh, you know, just, just, just a bit of fun. That's all I do for now. But I don't, I don't really uh, want a boyfriend. I don't, I don't want to be retired and not have someone as a companion. But at that moment, because I'm not retired, I, I still try to look for a job. You know, really, I'm not, uh, I'm not committing myself to anybody. But I don't want to be tired and have no one and live on my own. Because I want to uh, spend the rest of my life with somebody once I've retired. You know, well, that's going to be in the future. I don't know where it's going to be. Hopefully at least five or ten years, hopefully. Right. And, uh, hold on. So, uh, I get, uh, what was your, I'm kind of curious, okay, what was your reaction when David Tennant made a cop? We have will come back. That's of course the doctor. I thought no, we can't do that. But you know, we know the celestial toy maker is involved somewhere. Yeah. So obviously, <laughs> you know, we know how manipulated the evil. I mean, not, like, like even though I don't know if you ever heard of Nightmare Fair, which would have been we're going to be back in the eighties, mm, but we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard of that story. They'll meet the game back there. They'll meet the game. So, you know, we know they're not listening the third time they met. So we know that the first soul maker is a mortal. Uh, going the fact that the doctor's a mortal about the, uh, the time as child, I'm not entirely sure what Russell's going to do with that because I don't, I don't think he's happy about that. But I don't have a make it. If not be a mortal, obviously, obviously, I hope that he isn't. But then again, I hope that he is. I don't know how they're going to work all that out. Maybe he's going to end up in the shower or something. It's all gone. I didn't die. You know, who's the part of that's what we're trying to do. But, um, you know, so we know this so they can buy. We know what a, what a devious study is. So we have to see what happens. We're looking forward to it. Mm. And speaking of Celestial Tomaker, I actually watched the, the, of course, the reconstructions in the, the first three, and then the the fourth one, the surviving, the only one that was survived from in the archives, and and I thought that was, that the, the Celestial toy maker was a very dangerous uh, foe for the Doctor. Very, yeah. Well, I think I think when it, I think he sort of he sort of thought, they're not exactly time doors, but they're sort of, uh, you know, like, like a um, uh, time rival kind of thing. Not like the master, but like a time rival. They're like, you know, you know, and, you know, they've got, obviously the uh, the filmmaker didn't know what a time was, I think, originally. But when he found out, he really wanted it. Because he immediately travel in time, you know. 
like you know, all your all your mothers tend to do, like try to get the TARDIS. I mean, I think he was. He loves to toy everything. He was in love with to toy everyone. Yeah. He was so manipulated. Uh, I. Have, my mind went blow the, blew up like why why did he do that to the doctor you know particularly the first doctor and he probably he made it invisible by wanting to he has a challenge for him and mm -hmm. at the end he the first doctor Steven and Dodo have been conquering the toy makers games and he actually, they actually def defeated the, the defeated him once and for all. But yeah, so I when and I when I thought and of course after so many years when the the rumors that the toy maker made a comeback for the 60s, I think in my mind tells me that that um, this guy would be the a new ver a new incarnation of the toy maker. And I really yeah. did. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. I've been yeah. predicting yeah. the future. <laughs> I, I thought I'd be predicting the future. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is what, what, what gets me. The, you know, the, we, we know he's not a time lord. We know he can't regenerate. But if he can live forever, he must regenerate. You know, if he can, if he can live forever, he must be worth we don't even really know why it's going to... I just want to know what it sounds like. I don't know about that, you know, but... It's obviously that's to make it still on this. We obviously know that. And then we know how DBC can be. So, you know... Um, yeah, I, I just I just can't wait. It's wrecking me head at the moment. It's the nearly a guess. You know, it's just... It's wrecking me head. I'm trying to think about it. But, so I'm trying not to. <laughs> but I don't mind telling people that. Mm-mm. And of course, that um, Donna novel will be also make a comeback as well. This time with um, uh, Yasmin Finney uh, as Rose Noble, yeah. her daughter. So yeah. I'm pretty excited to see how um, what role uh, Rose Noble would be. I was thinking about it, and of course, I have we had the Rough Warriors and Beat the Meep. Oh, the Meep! Oh, oh my God! What? Oh, I, I told you. He was so cute. He's so cute, by the way. I thought I would want. Um, I mean, I would love to have a plush of Beep Beep the Meep. I would love to uh, fluffy. I, and I think the fl it was. He was so fluffy. <laughs> Not no joking. But uh, um, and I want. I can't wait to see what the Rock Warriors build would will be like. I think they were very yeah. menacing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I mean, I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's going to be good, you know. But they all, I mean, it better be good, all the hype to give it a, you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Do you, um, I'm not going to be predicting too much, but, um, I called it. Oh, yeah. So, what could be the, your prediction about why is, why the toy maker is coming back and wanted to take his revenge against the doctor this time in their 14th incarnation? <laughs> I on things. What happens, I, I, I tend to, you know, I like to see it and then make up my own mind. I don't like to, to, to predict things. You know, they get it wrong. I go, well, that's stuff. Oh, that, that should have happened the other way. So I don't like to predict things because I'm, usually I'm wrong about loads of stuff. So, you know, I wouldn't like to predict it was wrong. And I go, oh, that's the whole thing. I've, <laughs> I've got it entirely wrong. Hey. But, oh, yeah, speaking of the uh, 68 specials, um, this, I think that... Um, I think we should look forward to that, you know, those three specials, and probably um, Shirty's uh, debut in the festive special next month. That'll be pretty exciting. Hey, sorry, what are you saying? I mean, I'm so I know personally I'm quite very excited about 
the six takes specials. Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> that this happened, that you, it's it's because I'm a diabetic and I tend to get stressed when I get too excited. So I try not to get too excited until the actual day, and then I'll be totally stressed. But you know, because I'm normally as a hand, really almost a hand. And I don't, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, what I'm very curious what what could be 14s to 15s regeneration look like. I'm very curious. But I think it might be just be as emotional as the one, what one with yeah. the previous yeah. doctors that been that been regenerating into their new ones. Hmm. Well, yeah. we can we actually don't know, but I, they'll there might be a lot of surprises. Oh yeah. I do. Oh, yeah. speaking and my a lot a lot my mind is you know our minds have been boggling so much about what's gonna happen especially of course we have we have we still have Kate Stone right and we still have unit um and then making it another comeback yeah. after the power of the doctor and I thought that um what kind of involvement that uh, Kate and unit and unit had been why why is she doing uh, why is she doing with and dealing with the toy maker i'm so kind of curious about what's gonna happen yeah yeah well i mean i've been kind of prospecting units you know i've always loved the uh, the, the, the idea would be great so you know now i'm the cold he sadly died and then, you know, we, I mean, whether or not he could do it anyway, and, uh, and I'm glad that he hasn't got any character playing Brigadier. Uh, uh, the actor playing Brigadier, I'm just glad that we've got somebody else who made it a woman, because, you know, make it a, a daughter, make his daughter or something, which I think is great. A little bit, I'm mean, glad they're going that way, instead of having to create uh, a, 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 a new character to Brigadier over a different actor, or the same character over a different actor. I'm glad they haven't done it that way. Yeah, and he and she is gonna be maybe another comeback for uh, Shirley's first season. That's which is pretty exciting because Kate has been yeah. with not just of course we had Ward the Ward Doctor, then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah. 14 and fifteen. Yeah. Uh, just like his dad, just like her dad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really do believe in the course that he is dead, and she's also dealing with the master, <laughs> with Sasha <laughs> Dolan. Oh my god, <laughs> seriously, that uh, yeah. he, he totally said that uh, the brigadier was an idiot, like, <laughs> oh, well, what do you do? What? I was like, wow, you really do that to Kate. <laughs> you really burned <laughs> You have burned the kid in in the face. <laughs> they, well, oh, yeah. I, I actually I was so glad that Kate had been dinner with those diff, different versions of the doctor and just like his her dad. But something that the some mm -hmm. sort of a legacy of sorts that have been following the footsteps. Uh. Yeah, uh, well, it, it, like I said to you, you know, I mean, I've always liked units. I mean, it, it works good in Doctor Who. So, you know, whatever, whoever, the bigger way, because he was a bit of a little idiot. But, you know, I loved John Levine. I met him a couple of times, and he's a nice guy. But, you know, I wonder if he could have put it all, I know Richard Frank is not very well, so he could have put it all to him either. But, the fact that they've got Kate in it uh, as a new brigadier, I think it's good. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, would, be, it would be good to uh, get the new crew back, but whether they, you know, they probably all retire for you now anyway, so they're in selling the car somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, per and of course, uh, I almost forgot another one. 
uh, what do you think about the what are we uh, what what was your reaction when Millie Gibson has been had been announced as the new companion Ruby Sunday? Well, as I said, I don't know who she was. I, I've never seen her before. I don't know who she was. So you know, the fact that I, I know she, I know she, was, was she Australian or Scottish. I, I don't remember. But I never see her when she was in. So I can't comment. I've not seen her act. I don't know. So, but it sh should be good. I mean, I mean, like I said, you know, whoever they get, they've obviously uh, thought she was uh, good enough to be in the role, and she's obviously delighted. So, all power to her. Yeah, I my reaction back then was, oh my god, again the same thing as with Shirley. I was like, who the hell is she? And uh, I never seen her. Yeah. And, yeah, I remember that. And but I do a lot of research about her, and she got some major roles in various dramas and yeah, fantasy shows there, which is really, which is brilliant. So. <laughs> Mm -mm. And I think, much like Shuri, I think that Millie will gonna nail as the new companion, and like all the companions that came before, I think she's gonna nail it the role. When, man, <laughs> wow, seriously, I can't wait to see, to see how Millie gonna ma nail this Ruby, and uh, mm -hmm. I. She a lot so I think there be an I'm gonna I think she's might she's gonna be one of probably my new my probably one of the new com, favorite companion. Oh my god. I think it, it, it top I mean, I mean I mean Yasmin Khan is very hard to to follow, but I think that um mm. Ruby will be will be brilliant too. Yeah, well, like I said, it's just the <laughs> really a quality, you know. I mean, that, you know, I mean, towards the end of November, anyway, I always, uh, look, I'm always looking forward to various things in it because I thought if the year's been bad for me, I like to look forward to it. And, you know, fuck, they always tend to be there over Christmas, you know. So that like, right now, that's could be year, so it's all been there, and that's so something to look forward to. And you know, I mean, I've, I, I can't. Uh, I can't fault anything that they've done so far, really. I think uh, I know one or two I haven't liked, but I do look forward to it coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, nevertheless, I'm pretty. Ex I'm so so excited for both the 60th and the festive specials. I think there's gonna be one hell of a ride. And then. Um, oh. We had the, I, I just had the same thing. We've got the point off. That he's gone. He's gone back. He's gone back to a, a, a generation. has gone past. I, I know it's anniversary special. I understand that. So maybe there are some doctors coming back, but they never really say that until we ever. You know, we didn't feel like on uh, day of the doctor. Those old rumours. You know, it didn't really happen until it, 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 there's only cameos. But here it is. Uh, it's 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 well, maybe that's how they're going to do it again. Maybe they were already filmed or they're going to insert them and they haven't told us. Um, you don't really say a lot. That's pretty surprising. I think there will be a lot of surprises in store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, I've, uh, you know, um, it's, it's just... I'm getting more... The, 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 the more and more the days are getting... More, so it's mm -mm. Uh, one more, one last question before we get all wrapped up. What does doctor mean to you in your life? Oh, God. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. Uh, well, like I said, I mean, it's always been, because I, I, all through my life, I had loads of personal problems, and, um, a lot of things I've said before, I'm not going to divulge on the podcast because they're far too personal and I get emotional. So, all the problems I've had in my life, Doctor Who has always been there and if I ever need an escape, I put a DVD in and watch it and I'm away. 
and you know, I forget about what what's happened, and I'm fine. So whenever I feel down, I watch a Doctor Who DVD, and I, it, it helps me out no end. And that's how it's always been, and I hope it always will be because I just love the series to death. And uh, all the people I met from it over the years, uh, you know, I, I'm grateful for that. And uh, some of them make up personal friends, and uh, it's it's great. So uh, Doctor Who, all power to it. I love it. Yeah, and I, to me, I had to add this, because of Doctor, I met so a lot, feel so many historical figures that I never, ever met before, and not taught in schools like freaking crazy, but also I look looking also meeting some familiar ones again, uh, because of the because of that because of uh, Doctor Who and knowing their history. All the in particularly Marco Polo, I know, and we got um, Rosa Parks to uh, Madame Ching. Oh God, there are so many uh. historical <laughs> figures that no knew, both new and very familiar to me before, and I'm just so grateful to Doctor because it really teaches. Uh, a lot of people through uh, sci-fi mm -hmm. and history, mm -hmm. which in which is a good combination into one, and I really like it so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, because there's, because there's a thing as well, like with like that family, like, well, about uh, goes back but the host historical figures, like the sea devils, we've had the heart says to um, yeah. the doctor, if we want to learn something in charge of it, I'll look at it, we'll look at the different options. And I said, you know, and the thought says, Horatio, uh, Captain Hart, Horatio Nelson was a personal friend of mine. <laughs> He's so funny. Well, you know, all the characters from this year, you know, and yet, you know, Horatio was a bit of a, a, a bit of a military type figure, which is not the low. You think, oh, well, that's strange, because, you know, he, he, he was part of this, part of that, or whatever. You know, you think, you know, when I like that, but it's just becomes, you know, that's <laughs> just crazy, you know, there's so many, so many things I like all about it. I can't really tell you because it just makes me feel happy all the time. And I feel 100% better uh, if I've been down when I watched it and I just love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, for, I'm pretty sure that Chewie's era would be going to be expanding some more historical figures that we've never seen before. And probably we uh, all yeah. familiar with, prob hopefully. But, um, but for now, we're going to enjoy the 60th and the uh, festive yeah. and, but, I, I'm, but also we are so so excited for Shuri to take on the TARDIS yeah 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 well uh, power to my book mm -hmm. nothing against them we're not, not, not racist uh, we have a trans I've got a lot of trans friends so yeah it's fine you know all, you know Russell obviously knows what he's doing uh, uh, so uh, all power to Russell as well mm-hmm so uh, we had to to wrap up our conversation, but of course, do you have your socials so everyone can follow you, just in case? Uh, yeah, no, I'm on I'm on Twitter, yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitter, yeah, and um, I'm on Instagram a little bit. I have to wear. Uh, I don't know what what my handle is in Instagram, but I'm always got on Facebook as well. Yeah, so I also wear. Uh, Send me a message, the more they're happy to look for me. Just type my name in, I'll be there somewhere. On Twitter, it's at DavyCV8, if I was interested. All right, yeah, thank you very much for your time. And I do hope that you, you <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I pretty, pretty hope that you're, you're very welcome to come, come back in our podcast. Oh, that's, that's wonderful, isn't it? Just send me the link once, and I'll be there. I'll, I'll get into that, and it'll be wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful time. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and uh, we all we shall enjoy those awesome moments, those upcoming moments in, our, in this Silly blue box show, <laughs> you know that's about <laughs> this wonderful silly blue box show called Doctor. And um, yeah, yeah I'm personally, 
Thank you very much. Have a good time and take care. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much. And that was David Siri, guys. <laughs> 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 wow. <clears throat> what a quite wonderful conversation about Doctor and then I'm very happy to see a long time fan. This time, we need to wrap up our uh, part, our season uh, part 3.0, and he shared lots and lots of moments from all, all, all those who moments. And uh, I really enjoy And um, hopefully, that you guys have uh, learned a lot from him. And of course, he's a long, one of, he's a long time fan, Hoovy, a long time Hoovy as well. So, again, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks very much to uh, David for this wonderful conversation. I really enjoyed it so much. Like seriously, it was a one, uh, probably one of the most uh, wholesome. Mm, wholesome moments in White Cappy. I think almost all are very wholesome, and I do hope we get to be some more wholesome moments when 4F comes out next month. All right. So we're gonna doing our final, final you gonna ask for the season. Hey, Colin, you finale with actual finale. Nope. And there we go. One last. Um, announce one less, uh, <laughs> let us spiel before we wrapped up part 3.0 again. So, we got me, of course, it's uh, Doctor 60 anniversary. Let's go with doing a let's la uh, doing a the very special Yona. <laughs> Yeah, here we go, and we got some sorry responses, and from uh, Hoovy and Philippines group. Shout out to the guys out there in the Hoovy and Philippines group. And <laughs> they will have the 60th anniversary party this coming week. And wow, I'm sad to know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure, baka, baka hindi, baka naman, I might gonna do it, might be attending, if, kasi nga, of course, we have, uh, POF Christmas, so I have the engagement there, and, <coughs> sorry, ayan, and engagement there, it represents Gary, so, so yeah, we can have a 60th anniversary party! And live viewing this coming uh, Saturday, so or probably Sunday. I really don't know. Wagman sana ma conflict. But anyway, we call like. Okay, so we get the Yona S. We coming from oh, oh my god, almost all all from Facebook. I'm sad. Anyway, it's gonna be a few than never. It's better to have few than never. So we got Kuya Mark. Paul said, my uh, the question is, hold on a minute, I actually have to recall our, oh, question for the last Yona S for uh, part 3.0, yeah, and there it is, what have you been, what have been some good memories you gained thanks to Doctor Who, yes, so, going back, Ayun na nawawala yung atin Ayan, screenshot So, um, Korea Mark Pauses My wife and I bonded over the 11 Doctor's Adventures That's sweet Sana all <laughs> Sana all <laughs> <laughs> Anyway Char lang po, okay That's side po We had some gala friends in our invitations Oh The Gawin show pa rin ang mag-asawa. Nice. That's very, very good. Amazing. Ayan. Si Kuya Adrian Arcega naman, waltzing out of my tardy straight into our already reception while dressed as a doctor. While fr with friends and family dressed up as the most random things across time and space. Also, holding my Mark 1 tardy into next call with the hoovious behavior as it it was the Black Nazareth procession. Oh my god. Grab it. 
Nakakalok. Oh my god, that's so freaking interesting. 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 Yeah. Ayan. Interesting, no? Nakaka Oh, it's very wholesome though. I like it. Um I might get a handle the tardis. Baka naman po. <laughs> Sana naman. No, what can you I don't care it's a freaking replica of the TARDIS, whatever it is. One of these days. See, yeah. See, in die Chloe and then says, I made my college fair by saying I like David Tennant. When mentioning his name, is that none of my other classes? Oh, nakaka. It is a very uh, kind of awkward moment, but awkward yet funny moment. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. And take a take a Last but definitely not the least, si Inday Ellen Makabalog. Ayun. I start. I just started watching Doctor Who because I was bored then and I thought it looked cool. But I'm so happy to stay, be there. Doctor Who is the first live action sci-fi show I really followed. And it's helped me meet many amazing folks. Oh, that's so sweet. My first ever Who series had Matt Spain in it. So he always had a special reason my fanger heart. Yeah, Matt Smith was so amazing as a doctor. I think all of them... All of them are, all of the actors who, that played the Doctor are very amazing. It's just having a unique race. And, and each of the, um, <laughs> ano ba naman to? What? Ano to? Soft hours na naman to, Yona? I think, I don't think so. But, come, uh, but that aside po. I think <laughs> it was pretty amazing to know that, um, it really has a special face in my heart. And one of the, uh, probably the first ever live action show that I've been following regularly ever since, ever since I became a fan. We're forever grateful to the people behind the show and um, for this wonderful creation, this, this, this thing, this wonderful silly blue box show. Oh my God! Anyway, so beyond 60th and um, yeah. I pretty hope I'm do pretty sure that Doctor will go on and on and on and on, probably until uh, the end of time. I want no man sana, pero si Rosa po. Seriously, it gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me expanding my knowledge about not just history but also sci-fi, and I think that because of the, this wonderful franchise. Uh, gained so many friends here and abroad. Can you imagine? And then I in engaging into uh, f flexing fan uh, fan fan made stuff. <coughs> yeah, it makes me really really happy and started collecting merchandise from the show. Yeah, I'm so happy to greet and yeah, happy 60th anniversary to the Doctor series and. And I'm sure may all the blessings that we sh will be showered to every each one of the people, whether each one of them or each one of the people behind, and um, those and salutations to those who are departed before us. Yeah. So I um and that's it. The end of part three point oh oh. I'm sad, no man. <laughs> Diba? I'm sad. Very, very sad, though. But, um... <coughs> but don't worry, guys. We're, we're, actually, your Chromatic is into the podcast will not be ended. Of course, dahil nga, my fourth season tayo na abangan, which is for end. Oh my god! It's been a wild, wild ride for part three part after more than a year. And congratulations to each one of us. And shout out to a guest. Almost all almost new. Almost all new guests that have been featured in this season. I don't wanna mention them one by one cause I'm Daminila. And to the come returning guests. Uh, uh, Nathaniel and um, Christian, shout out to you guys. Of course, sana naman, baka balik 
natin sila for 4F. Ayan, 4F. Ayan po. And again, uh, again and again, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting YKIP for the past three years and part three for the, for the past a year and one episode. <laughs> Yun. Um, um, please look forward to not just 4F but also the upcoming YKIP live at uh, hopefully uh, what naman, wag naman hopefully at um, Pagasinan Pop Convention this coming December 2 the school this is gonna be a, a wonderful and oh yeah I do wanna do I do, do a panel and the quiz bee the usual panel and the quiz bee the pop culture quiz bee and prices are at stake so, Manda, get yourselves ready for the pop culture quiz bee. Because <coughs> most of them are kind of tricky and kind of crazy. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, right. That aside, Baby jokes aside. So, uh, this that's it for part three. But, oh, but that does not the end of the podcast itself yeah so makikita po tayo of course the next episode will be the new uh premiere episode for f and we're no, not just free cure and not just doctor having anniversaries of course we got peachy peachy peach and the powerpuff girls but also we got another fiesta to go look forward to and which is cutie honey so so it's, which is sort of a the golden years of cutie honey you know <laughs> so it's about to talk all about another and uh, the what it's so called the blueprint of the badass magical girls and boys so yeah see cutie honey and how how she impacted the whole entire magical girl genre Ayan. and all this stuff why why does it create it and uh, we all know who knows okay so that's all the for that's the first episode of 4f i am and um there'll be uh there gonna be some petty bar that's in the opium spiel promise dito i'm not joking huh? there will be some petty bar that's in the opening spiel all right so be warned guys and um of course uh, speaking of ykip please don't forget to follow my youtube account which is yonachi and uh, not to promo, follow and like the yk platform on facebook page because we're going to stream, stream a lot almost all episodes of ykip and some of them on my on that page and some of them on my youtube channel so please do a stream and um, the first ever YKIP uh, favorite guest I'm sure uh, no, the top rank, top uh, episode and guest rank is still going and you may vote until December 15 so after December 15 we're gonna tabulate all of them <coughs> both the episodes and the guests from the first three seasons and we're gonna reveal it so yeah, that's the other again that's the other part of the part three for off. But yeah, we and of course part F is about to start next month. Yes, next month. Wanana to wanana hiatus is there will be no gaps of hiatus anymore because it's gonna be a straight full speed ahead. And that's the time all that I have. Thank you very much for watching and listening. This is Yona signing out. And I see you all in the next Yona Kuramatsuki's Inserted Podcast. Stay